Well, here we are again. I've had a bit of a break, not because I want to, but because of the unmentionable. I've been trying to get the off-axis guiding set up on the C11, which I think I figured out. I probably should have just measured it like a normal person and got the correct back focal distance, but it really was tricky to find that correct combination. I'll show it to you here. Now uh, that's the off-axis guider set up and the filter draw system, ZWO1600mm and the 120mm. This is the focal reducer right here and this made it tricky to find the exact back focal distance I needed for all this but I ended up going with what looks like two 5mm or one 5mm and one 4mm spacer there, the filter drawer in there and with this arrangement I actually needed no spacers here which worked out really well. I did buy the helical focuser from ZWO but having that was just way too far back. I found it really stiff to focus as well you don't really need to do that because you can always just undo this nut here and then pull the camera in and out as you need. But now that's all sorted out, so I'm gonna go back for my second night. The moon's out tonight, but that doesn't matter. I just wanna get going with this stuff. Gonna photograph the Eagle Nebula because everyone is photographing the Eagle Nebula right now. It's just, all I see in my feed right now is M16, M16, M16. So Pillars of Creation is the classic. And you can do this target with a big wide angle lens as well. It's got a whole lot of nebulosity around it. Uh, but I'm going in tight because I've got this nice big magnification that I really want to tame. I don't really have like a script or a plan for this video. I don't have anything specifically I want to teach you guys. Uh, but in all my videos, there is some sort of revelatory gem that you'll find in my workflow or at the very least in the comments when people correct me for stuff that I'm doing wrong and then I pin that comment. All right, let's get cracking. My name is Dylan O'Donnell and you're watching Star Stuff. Did you like that cool montage? It did make uh, astrophotography seem pretty exciting. 
Uh, but let's face it, you're still a f***ing nerd. Just like to quickly shout out uh, Sidereal Trading who helped me set up this observatory. They're a telescope and camera and astronomy vendor in Australia. They're based in Melbourne. So if you're in Australia and you want something like this, do connect with Diego and Paul. They will help you out. They also stock a lot of QHY gear. And I am using a lot of QHY. I have done for a long time, but also QHY are supporters of this channel as well. So thank you QHY and thank you Sidereal Trading. Uh, and check out Sidereal Trading's new logo because I have my fingerprints all over that too. I helped them come up with that new branding. I think it looks pretty cool. Anyway, I am tired. I stayed up till 2 a.m. Got lots of good data, I think. Still not super happy with the stars. I think I need to do some periodic error correction on my mount. I'm not sure if that will be the thing that really nails those round stars. But until then, I'll probably just budget and post-processing. Hey Zach, can I show you a photo that I took? What do you think? Cool. Is it the best space photo you've ever seen? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, that's got two of my favourite colour. This is not the greatest shot in the world, no. This is just a tribute. Couldn't get the stars round for the greatest shot in the world, no. This is just a tribute world. phone anyway. Uh, it was a lot of work, seven nights of patience again to get a photo, but I like the field of view. It's tightly cropped in, there's problems with the stars, but it is what it is. It's a pretty nice photo of the Eagle Nebula, M16. Asked my wife Anna if she wanted to see my pillar of creation, uh, but she said go away. I guess I deserve that. Anyway, my name is Dylan O'Donnell and you've been watching Star Stuff. Remember, everything is meaningless and we're all going to die. <laughs>